do a second video for day seven and I wanted to finish guys reading what I was doing number seven was uh, sharing number six was creating new new habits to get rid of the bad old the old habits that you have we're looking for a new way of living how do you do that when you start to create new new good habits and in order for us to get more self-discipline we have to replace bad things in our life that are not helping us things that are keeping us stressed out things that are causing us to not be disciplined enough to eat clean and exercise we have to replace those with good habits if you need any ideas get back with me because i'm definitely a person that believes in reading again it's one of the good habits that's helped me Number seven, share knowledge. Become an effective leader in your life. Don't think you're a leader, question mark. You are if someone is relying on you. And I think all of us have somebody to re that, that is relying on the decisions that we make, that is relying on us to be here for a long time. Number eight, um, streamlining your life, learning how to say no. You can't grow in life with until you learn to say no. I truly believe that that is something that God has been allowing me to work on because I'm that person that never wants to disappoint anyone. And that may be you. But in order for us to have an effective life, sometimes we have to say no to the things that are not going to help us income-wise. We have to say no to pride. When we know we need to get our health intact, when we know we need extra money, just because other people may not agree with what you're saying, you don't have to do what they tell you to do. Remember, you can say no to those negative things because we all know that we need the things in life to survive and also to have good health. You can't even go out and have a second job or you can't even go out and have a good time time if you're unhealthy so I actually encourage you guys today to pick up these books Brian Dodge Dodge his books are phenomenal not just him I get a lot of books like T.D. Jakes and different authors that you may you may like to listen or you or see but if you're putting these good things inside of you you're going to become a better person and you're going to work on that personal development so I hope today helped you guys to understand that your mental health is very important as well the safety of what you're putting in your body is second to none I worship to live I want to get a kudos to my sister JB she has a amazing ministry and worship con conference and I because I use her terms all the time I want to give it her kudos she's touched hundreds of people with this youth conference worship to live because if we don't learn how to worship we don't know how to live on this earth and I give I love you JB and because I always say your thing I want to give you props where props is due God bless you and he's going to bless your ministry so we're getting this video out there and a lot of people a lot more people are going to know who Jim Carter Banks Austin is also guys I want to encourage you to stay committed get to a point in life where you're not so easily shaken and you're not so easily giving up I love you guys I worship to live I also make sure that every day that I wake up I give God a little bit more because I want to be a better man I want to to be glorified I want him to be glorified in all that I do I hope you your mindset is thinking the same way in order to do that we got to spend time with the team advocate spiritual health physical health mental health I hope I said something today to encourage you team feel Fee. I can't wait to start my second half. My, my niece taught me how to do the nay nay yesterday. <laughs> Harvard.com. Love you guys. Have a good day. <laughs> God bless.